Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and welcome back to uh, Automation with the uh, the Grunt Auto Group, uh, where uh, we're, we're profitable. Uh, we've got three and a half billion in the bank, which is great. We've got an A plus credit score, which is uh, dangerous, um, and uh, and we're turning turning a little bit of a profit, uh, which is good. Uh, the the Rancorous Adventure GL is uh, is performing pretty well. Uh, it's in manufacture. We, I mean, we're making money. Uh, every month I'm paying my taxes that's all good you know I, I think it's it's time for a time for a new car so we got a rancorous adventure GL uh, as you know already uh, we're going to start an entirely fresh car no, the, the conventional wisdom is you do a facelift on the car that you're already producing but no 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 I need something entirely entirely different uh, now then let's uh, let's have a look here now what's What's going what's gonna to light us up here? We've, we've still got all of this family business uh, going on. And I think, uh, I, think we need to, I think we need to hit the premium market. Something, you know, something tasteful. Uh, let's go for go premium, premium market. Uh, we'll make something that is going to float the boats of oh, the rich and powerful. Uh, let's uh, filter by body year. Any year? No, no. Last, last five years, please. Uh, it's a it's a wide choice. Last ten years, there you go. It's a wider choice. I don't care if it's a slightly retro build that we have going on. That's that's fine by me. Uh, body type should probably be a sedan. No, well, no, we'll include them all. It's all good. Uh, engine position. Don't give me monkeys. Um, right, luxury car. Mm. Okay. Well, I think uh, I think we're looking at these two, aren't we? I mean, these two speak speak luxury to me. Um, this one appears to have its wheel clipping through the fender. That's not as luxury. No, it's clearly less less luxury. This one's a little shorter. Ooh, difficult. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's what we're going for. We're going for the 1946 sedan, which is a slightly older look, but I think at the same time, it's a slightly, uh, oh, look at this. Just drink it in. Drink, drink it all in. All right. Okay. Well, steel is uh, is where it's at. We're building steel presses, so you know that's a solid way to go. Uh, now then, the uh, the monocoque, uh, the the ladder. Big pun. Uh, high weight, low costs on stuff. The monocoque is lower weight, but uh, higher costs on stuff. Okay. And the space frame is makes for a heck of a lot of production units. We don't need a heck of a lot of production units. No. I think we I think we stick with the ladder. Uh, we're not going to sell as many of these. This is uh, engineering time of six. All right. Now, I think engineering time is, is initial engineering time rather than uh, the, uh, the the time to build later on. So you can you can spend... Co I'm probably wrong. Uh, you can spend time up front uh, in, uh, in making something that potentially is better further down the line. Uh, chassis material... Steel, please. Yeah. And then uh, front suspension. Now, we're talking... Uh, uh, with, we're talking high quality here, so I think we're going to want coils rather than a, uh, a double wishbone up front. Uh, yeah, let's. I mean, let's have a quick look. No, hold on. You, we, no, we, uh, I think you are going to want your double wishbone for, for comfort, sportiness, and drivability. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Okay, double wishbone bones up front, and then on the back. Yeah. Mm, ah, look at the numbers moving around. Well, we don't give a monkeys about load capacity, so uh, your solid axle leaf, forget it. No, 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 no you can stick that. Uh, we'll uh, no, we'll go with the double wishbones at the back as well, and then we'll up the uh, the ride quality by five, because that's a number. Okay, right. Select an existing engine. Yeah, this is going to have the uh, the Lethargy VX one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, right. Okay, now then, uh, what do we want? We want uh, e ooh, ah, some stuff. Right, I think we're going to go with the uh, longitudinal rear-wheel drive for this. Uh, well, uh, do we want a manual on this one? Ooh, tough to say. No, 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 we'll give them an automatic. This is a luxury two-gear ratios. Uh, I, I think we possibly want more than that. Tough. Okay, then. All right. Well, I'm fine. If, if we've got like uh, lower gear and then not so low gear, then that's all. That's all terrific. Uh, let's crank the top speed up because it's a luxury car, 
and uh, and therefore the higher the top speed we can give it the better i think we make this a 100 mile an hour car which means only at 160 and change uh but we'll we'll go for 170 so that we've got that uh in terms of spacing yeah no no i think i think we leave the spacing a lot of two gears i mean who built this gearbox well, you, you're the one suggested it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's just details. Uh, right, okay. Uh, Off-road, don't care about off-road. Um, and just just give me sport. I want, no, drivability and sport is what we're after. All right, let's, let's open differentials then. Um, power distribution doesn't matter. Quality. Uh, let's up the quality. This We're building a luxury car. Quality is all important. Tires are made of cross-ply. Great. Isn't that wood? Um, and then uh, we'll go with the uh, the sports compound, I think. Or no, I don't know. We'll we'll keep it medium to keep it comfortable. Uh, let's chunk these up as much as they're allowed. That's that. Then uh, tire diameter, no, 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 rim diameter. Let's uh, let's see if we can get. You can get really. <laughs> it's got bike wheels. Part of me says, is is there going to be a market for that? Um. I do I do worry a little bit about the bike wheels. Can we up the tire diameter? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, ooh, ooh. and then we can thickenate the wheels a little bit more. Okay. All right. If I if I tweak the I'm I'm doing a bit of min maxing just for a moment just to uh, just to see if this broadens the opportunities. I want a slightly thicker patch on me. You know what? This is actually looking quite radical. I imagine uh, Johnny exclamation mark here is going to start, you know, lighting me up fairly, fairly quick. Uh, the front tires are narrow. Try, try to increase the front tire width. Would if I could, son. But it's, uh, it's not giving me the option. All right, I think twenties are probably a little bit too ostentatious for the moment. I think seventeens will probably do the job, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll crank up the, the amount of patch we've got. You're going to get a little bit of fender rub there. My gosh, it's a bit snug under there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, right. What if we were to rear, rim offset this way? No, you've you've offset beyond the realms of, of reality there. Okay. All right. Well, if we do, let's drop that back a little as well. That's, you know what? I, d I don't hate that. No, I don't. I don't hate it. Uh, what if we drop the tire diameter? Is that going to drop me? patch size as well it is a little it's not a little it's not at all oh we can even go fatter now i in, in fact i think i'm there i think i'm on it i think i've got it i think i'm i think i've got the one that i like good it's made of steel and we'll up the quality a little bit obviously this is going to impact on uh, on profitability but uh overall i think uh, i think we'll probably be solid if not golden front brakes um well what's good well, you see these ones. See, we can we can more production unit. I think we want more production unit. I think you're probably right. Uh, if we up the brake size ever so slightly, uh, it will mean that the brakes are good. Right, it, that, more readily able to uh, to stop the vehicle. Uh, and then uh, in terms of pad type towards, yeah, okay, I see. I get you. I get you. Well, okay. Well, let's let's go for what let's go for comfort in braking. Uh, and then brake bias, we'll leave that alone and assume it's going to be fine. And we'll up the quality a little bit. That's, that's good. That's that's all good. Did I miss the bit where I remodeled? No, no, no. You're, we're we're working on the shape of the body in a moment. No, that's good because I've got I've got plans. Doesn't need an under tray. Uh, we don't need any active aer aer aerodynamics going on there. The cooling airflow gives me what? Uh, lower. Let's lower the cooling airflow. Hold on. Let's uh, let's lit us up. What's your problem? If I do that, engine cooling is very low, reducing its reliability. Okay then. So let's let's not go let's not go wild on that. Uh, less brake fade or more engine cooling. Leave that alone. And then let's up the quality a little bit. We're building a luxury car, friends. Even if I have to, uh, you know, charge through the nose for this, it's uh, it's a thing that's going to happen. It's not a convertible. No, it's not. Uh, can't add any more seats. Do we want a bench seat in the front? No. It's a luxury car. Well, how do I make that lower? Oh, it's down the bottom, look. There you go. In fact, we'll go uh, two in the front, two in the back. Luxury car. And uh, it's going to be 
luxury and we'll have a luxury am radio this one is not uh this is not radio ready no this one is radio flipping done right moving on oh, i might need a leather works in order to make the leather work uh, we'll just we'll deal with that don't need to worry about any of this business safeties uh we'll go with advanced for the 1940s oh graph time <laughs> okay so this is uh, versus the market yes we are uh, we're 28 point one percent on the desirability scale are you saying that we're not premium enough that's what i'm saying however fun premium oh oh we are we are well weird this is very zesty indeed the family sport premium crikey okay all right that's uh mm, ah you okay yeah mm, ah see i i understand exactly what's what's occurring here now and uh and there's things fuel economy is terrible the weight's terrible the material costs are terrible production units are not good and the engineering time is fairly bad yeah but how fast is it and is it comfy on the inside so the acceleration curve here uh is it goes does a bit of that right and then it's gonna crawl <laughs> up from that point on oh beautiful that's one that's presumably when the gear changes yeah Yes, yeah, I reckon that's that's the gear change kicking in about there. And then it kind of goes, oh god, this is hard work. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna tweak this until I'm slightly happier with it. All right, I've discovered something dramatic. Right, so I'm I'm mucking around with the suspension, and uh, with it where it's set now, and I've I've been tweaking this to try and deal with some of this understeer that we've got going on. <laughs> the understeer kicks in at 54 kilometers an hour. Oh, hey, it's, just, it's going to be <laughs> beyond 54 kilometers an hour. The uh, the understeer is well life threatening, um, which is which is brilliant. Anyway, uh, if I I'm, I'm happy with this, uh, and uh, if I were to now tweak the springs up by one notch, all of a sudden premium premium happens. If I go one further though, it goes it goes absolutely ruddy bananas. Uh, this is. This is a, this is an adventure that's well worth pursuing. I think we're we're going to make this car absolutely ruddy marvelous, right? Okay, now let's get to the point where that's maxed. Three forty-three, yeah, three forty-three. Uh, what about the rear? Can we get there's three fifty-one? Cool. I now, I mean, those of you who do know what you're doing with a game like this, you're probably going, well, why? What you, why? Uh, I, however, am just quite happily pressing buttons to watch the oh crikey we just made that exciting can i get this yeah uh, you've made this extremely desirable it really is ridiculously desirable uh, the high the high number here means desirability versus the competition the uh, the the bit at the bottom means something else but either way we're in the green and uh, and that's probably great uh, okay that made it go down can i make it go up no you've got that what about sway bars do you want some more sway? No, you don't want any more sway bar than you've got. Oh, yeah, hold on. You want less sway bar. Okay, I'm working it. I'm making that number go up as high as I possibly can. Uh, okay, no, you're, there, you're then in decline again. Uh, this is great. I think I've figured out a system for, for total victory. Uh, can we make it 418? Any advance on 4 at 420? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You Your understeer is getting quite a lot worse. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. 469 421.8 yeah okay no we've got it 1100 we want on that let's uh let's increase the quality a little bit there we go yeah this is now having to think about how much understeer we've got it's probably going to understeer at about i don't know 10 kilometers an hour something like that just don't don't drive it too quick uh or it or indeed at all if you want to live uh right if we if we start pumping up the uh the ride height here what does that get us? Nothing, nothing good. All right, okay. Well, that's that's fine. I forget where it was originally. No, yeah, that's fine too. Yeah. Come on, in your own time, four no four fourteen is no good. I think we need need to be around there four thirty two. I feel happy about. Although premium budget, it's not budget. No, we're not going to be able to flog that at budget pricing. There, uh, a relatively affordable. I think I I think this is the top one is the desirability. The second one is the price range market price thing effort 
We've got a few warnings going on there, but uh, we can just, you know, pretend they didn't happen. All right, so uh, obviously now we need to uh, we need to make it look glorious. And uh, can I do that? No, it's, it's the next one, isn't it? Next. All right, up the body, body quality by a, a couple of notches because that's, that's going to make people far, far more delighted to be a part of this activity. Uh, and then is this where I could do some molding? I want to... I want to adjust the molding body panels no i think this is the paint shop where's i want to do molding i want to i want to mold my uh my creation to to look flawless and perfect i can't remember where the button is what's this ah enable morphing thank you right we're gonna gonna give this give it some saddle bags <laughs> that's not saddle bags it really isn't you've flared the heck out of that no that's wrong okay all right unflare there you go bring it back in uh now but i do think it needs a slightly slightly greater aspect of of glory there yeah that's uh, it's this is technical design terminology but aspect of glory is very important can we give it a little bit more boot space you're going to need at least to be able to stick five or six sets of golf clubs in the back. Oh, hold everything. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is retro neo-futurism going on in, in full uh, full glory. We can make it taller. I don't. I want, it, I want to give it the look of a roof chop, is what we want. Kind of pre-hot rodded. Uh, what if we were to... Uh, okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm liking that. Oh, when you're morphing the body, it's all about your minimums and your maximums. Uh, I'll grab the whole front end. Oh goodness me! Yeah, you've yeah you're. I mean, you're in the zone. It's I mean that much is evident. Uh, make it pointy. Nah, let's not make it pointy. Bring it back, snob nosed. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, right. Yeah, and then those. Do you want to pronounce your? Uh, what I assume will be your headlight mounts. I'll, I'll be honest with you. No, no, probably not. Let's let's keep them there as well. Can I make this any lower? No, you need to. I want to crack, grab that. That's it, like that. Yeah, yeah. No, bring that down. All right. I want to then be able to do something uh, no, here. Yeah. What have What have you done? I don't know, but it's uh, it's working for me. <laughs> is it though is that think about whether it's working for the customers ah knickers to the customers uh right that's i'm the designer they're just gonna have to lump it all right yeah no i see i need you need a little bit more granular control in order to create something that really does live up to all of the hype uh what's, what happens if i do this what, what i can twist it well that would that would make it non uh non aerodynamic and it would possibly give it a little bit of extra lean in one direction or the other now keep the roof chop what else can i do with that not a lot just a bit of up and down okay is there any other quadrant that i can monkey with you could bring it back in i think we're making something that's ruddy stately this one they're going to do features on this car in 50 years time and people are going to go why on earth didn't it sell more i mean look at it it's absolute. This is from a time when people had vision and uh, and passion for the overall everything. All right, uh, I think we're I think we're there. I think it's good. Maybe only two sets of golf clubs in the back, but pff, hey, well, what does it matter? Uh, right. Okay. Now then, uh, we're going to need. What are we doing here? Paint. I think we're doing paint. Yeah. Okay. We're doing paint. Um, now, we went with kind of the solid green. No, we didn't. We went with a two tone green. But my chrome didn't show up in the advert, which was a bit disappointing. No, it no, it replaced the lower colour with chrome. Which means if we take the shine, oh dear. No, keep the shine and remove the flake. Egg ah, oh, look at that cherry red. But that's not the colour we're going for. No, I want uh, I want something of a you know a majestic sea foam. Isn't that what you wanted last time as well? Alright, okay. What about kind of a mustard? that's uh day old and been sat out in the sunshine yellow yeah oh that's taxi cab uh this one mm, yeah that uh, look i mean come on let's stay away from the specialist colors here let's let's try and get something that people that's that's the stuff 
a bit more vivid. Uh, don't go overboard. Plum. We'll call that plum. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't make it any more appealing. Uh, right, yeah, okay. So we've got plum on there. Uh, with regard to the rims, I think... Uh, oh, well, let's go all the wheels. Yeah. Plum. Really? Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh, people are going to ride it in delight. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, right. Okay, so now we're into the important business of setting up stuff with things. I need some kind of... Actually, quite. I don't hate those. Now, these may not be... Yeah, you see, you've got the option to go as far as 2012. I think we'll go as far as 1960 to not be too, uh, too outrageous in terms of uh, anachronisms. Um uh, but uh, well, what do we got going on here? You know what we need? Why is that square on the inside? Why does it matter? It is, and it's glory. I like this. What I don't know what it's for or why it's got so much going on there, but that's what we're going for. No, we're not. No, no, we're not. Oh, all right, okay. I've changed my mind. Apparently, no. I want. Uh, I want this kind of action. Okay, right. Yeah, I know. I haven't got them in the right place yet. Give me a moment. Uh, so let's size them up ever so slightly and then uh, uh, change your mode and let's rock them out to about there yeah you sure yeah that looks like where headlights go but we're not done yet no sir uh, no because we want some more All right, and we're going to stick these directly below those ones see that's this is how you create an imposing visage so, uh, yeah, I'm imposing my visage on all of you. Uh, right, now, have a bit of that. Let's, uh, no, I don't want to move it around. I want to uh, I want to adjust its, uh, its presence. All right, grab the presence adjuster. That's not helped. No. Can I... I want to pull it out. I want it to... I want to stand it off a little from the from the chassis, from the from the body. It's not the chassis. That's not, is it? Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> oh dear is is code for that's not gone quite right there you go that's that's a little better zoom out yeah says luxury to me says premium to me well i think when then we're both right aren't we uh okay right let's uh let's talk tail lights here uh we've got uh we've got our 1960 where the hell are you going to put tail lights on this bad boy I, ooh, don't, a, a cluster no we're, we're not doing clusters you can get knotted um, what about a, something off Knight Rider no not something off Knight Rider now on the last one we had two verticals I think uh, we could probably go for two uh, horizontals on this one and that way there's there's kind of a motif that we're uh, that we're employing overall let's make those a little bit wider oh uh, yeah if you're, yeah, you're, you're really in your element here I, I am I, in my element is where I'm at now that's some spaceship brake lights uh, and also they're clearly a bespoke part because they're slightly rounded that means that we're going to be able to charge a premium if anybody ever breaks them and needs some more do you want to give them an additional tail light for extra verve I think I might do all right uh, an extra verve third tail light Oh, that's the that's the shiznit, frankly. Um, right, okay. Next, indicators. Uh, what are they? Uh, what are, what's this all about then? What, what does that do? Circular indicators. Yeah, never catch on. What, where's where's that going? I don't know, but I think you've broken it. All right, I'll give it a moment to just consider life. Uh, let's go back. Yeah, let's let uh, let's remove those. Yeah, take take those out. That went badly wrong. Um, what's this? Pretty basic. It is pretty basic, but I I think it brings a little something to the uh, to the party. We could put them. Oh yeah, you stick them in the middle there. Make them ever so slightly smaller. No, that, yeah, you're moving them around. Hang on, uh, that one. Uh, make them ever so slightly smaller, and uh, so they fit in with the uh, with the light strip on the back. And there, I, you've either got a talent for this or you haven't. And, uh, and I don't like to brag, uh, but I, I have got like all the talent. Uh, that nobody else has any talent. I already got it all. Um, right, a bit, 
put these on as repeaters. Yes, yeah, that's, that's that's tasteful. And then maybe resize them down a little bit. That's good. good. You're still going to need some up front. Am I though? Is there a law? Yeah, there probably is. Uh, so why don't you try applying yourself to it? All right, let's go with these. How's that going to work? I'm going to fit them in about there and then uh, we're going to make them small enough that I can just kind of slot them into that gap. Oh, are you? Yeah. Slotting them into the gap. Right in there. Do you think people are going to see you actually indicating, though? No? Uh, honestly, I don't care. This is this is a stylistic moment. I'll give it a bit of rotate on. I'm going to zoom in. All right, give it a bit of rotate. We're going to try and I'm going to try and fit it in this gap. Okay. All right. I don't necessarily agree with this as, an, as a project, but you you go ahead. See, if they were symmetrical, we could fit that in. Oh, I've got an even better idea. Can I copy? Uh, please hold. Uh, ja, ja, ja. Otherwise, I'll have to pray, place some more and try and get it right. Yeah, that's never stopped you in the past. He hasn't. You're right. Okay, yeah, no, I'm good with those. All right, and then we'll have some more that are here-ish. Uh, actually, we'll do them here and we'll get the size right. That's it. Size it down. Yep. Okay. Uh, I want to flip them. Uh, flip horizontally. Yes. There you go. Uh, and then move it around a bit. And we'll stick those on the other side of the headlight double bill. It's a disaster. It's a miracle. Uh, yeah. How's that look? Strange and bizarre. Ah, this is a this is a look I'm familiar with. Right, we're not going to do the interior because the interior is not not important. Uh, right, let's uh, let's talk uh, let's talk cooling here. We're going to need a big beefy kind of facey face kind of a grill going on, uh, ideally clad in chromium. Uh, well, there's a there's a good chromium selection. Yeah, I saw one that I like the looks of. That says luxury. No, it doesn't. That says basic. What if I did it that size? That says you have absolutely no taste. You're completely right. Right, okay, let's try again and see if we can't find one that's nicer. Oh, what about uh, stop it? Okay, all right, fine. All right, I'll, uh, I'll back her up and, uh, and we'll go again. Um, something like this? Well, it gives you a lot of choices. Yeah, it does. With a with a bar across it. No, I think we I think we still need the uh, the verticals in there. Why? Apparently this made the cut. No, 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 no. I was I was just experimenting. That get shot. Right, this. What are you going to do? Make it wider, obviously. Yes. How does that look? Makes your car look stupid. Okay. All right. Because up to this point, of course, it hasn't looked stupid at all. It's looked flipping awesome it needs a different expression that's a problem this the expression that mouth is pulling is wrong this one's a bit too smiley i want something that says i'm flipping minted uh right let's let's go back to the original plan how about that no all right okay what's this metal okay uh you know what that we what we could do here though is we could take this and uh, and stick it on the side of the engine bay for a little bit of uh, a little bit of lateral uh, cooling going on there. There was there was some mention of the fact that I I hadn't offered sufficient cooling to the engine, so now I have. You know, and who doesn't like vents? Who indeed? And why is that now gone very strange? And why has it not cloned it on the other side? Look, we'll we'll worry about all of that in a moment. But I, for for the time being, I think you've ruined that. Okay, all right, I'll get shot. Let's go again, and this time try not to ruin it. You could put the cut vent on the door. Yeah, uh, I need. Okay, put it on the door. Right, adjust the rotation ever so slightly. Yeah, now bring it back to where you want it. Uh, grab this. And see if it doesn't hold on no, it's going to get upset with you again yeah don't crash i've got i'm building a car in my dreams this is the one that i've always wanted all right now down a little bit don't don't do that all right how does that look uh odd a bit weird bad 
Okay, all right, that's not the reviews that we wanted. All right, go back to the front end. We're still going to need some grill here. I've got it, I've got an idea. All right, give me a moment. This is gonna take a tick. There you go, that's got it. If that is a seven piece radiator cooling grill on the front of that. Oh, look at it, it's disgusting. Brilliant, okay, move. we've got a lot more parts to fit. Do we need any more vents going on here? Well, I think we experimented with it and decided that it was a bad. Hang on, I've got. I can see a place we need one here. It's just going to be. Oh, um, yes. Uh, this I quite like the shaping of. Okay, let's go in. It's going to be subtle. There you go. See like that. All right. Have we got one on the other side? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that how you want it? You know what? Yeah. I mean, we could probably get away with using that instead of exhaust pipes. And that way, the exhaust could come straight out of the engine bay. Like something out of Mad Maxwell. Uh, engine scoop? I don't think so. Not this time. Uh, window or sunroof? Um, no, I think we're good. Uh, right, let's, let's get some... Uh, let's get, uh, what about a lip? Well, something something to pout. Yeah, try, try a little pouty lip. All right, hold on. Okay, yeah, and then uh, re no, 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 no. You were happy like that. Just give me this, right? And then uh, expand it out that way, not too far. Okay, and then uh, that. Oh, it's like a dozer blade. Oh, it's tempting, isn't it? I I think that that adds a certain amount of prestige. Uh, let's uh, let's crack on with a spoiler, because obviously this is a premium. I know, it, uh, it just up up top, we want it on the lid, there you go, yep, just like that, bit bit further towards the back, let me extend it a little, that's something, yeah, no, that's, no, that's definitely added, that, that's going to add almost four points worth of value, uh, does it need a wing, no, it doesn't, don't be ridiculous, uh, right, fuel cap, uh, we'll stick fuel cap on the engine on the uh, on the driver's side, and uh, and we'll stick that on the bonnet, eh? Yeah. So uh, kind of a top entry fuel system there, because we keep we're going to keep the fuel tank right next to the engine. That way, the fuel doesn't have to drive to the engine in the back. Oh, I've got plenty of room for golf clubs. I forgot I'd made this rear wheel drive. It's not. It's now four wheel drive. The engine's still in the back, is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't... No, it's not. It's up front. Okay, back to the original joke. I'm going to keep the fuel tank right next to the engine. That way the fuel doesn't have to drive as far. It uh, doesn't have to flow as far, uh, making the whole thing more efficient. Yeah, there we are. Right, that's uh, obviously we're going to go with the classic kind of chrome door handles here. Yeah, and because uh, it's this is a car for premium people, they're obviously a little larger than the norm, so we'll make them premium door handles. Have you duplicated? Yes, you have. Uh, and then, uh, well, uh, because of the way that I've uh, I've designed this, it's got suicide doors as well. So we'll do that. I want to flip it horizontally. There you go. Bit of suicide door action uh, for the uh, for the rear doors. Yeah, people are gonna go absolutely mad for this. Uh, mirrors. Oh well, I mean, we've got a very curvy kind of appearance to ourselves as it stands. Um, and uh, someone in the comments uh, last time said that, that putting the mirrors on the uh, on the bonnet of the car was the way to go in order to be stylish. I disagree really quite strongly with that as a statement, but I think we we might try. Well, we'll try them all over the place till I find somewhere I like. Uh, go around the other way. There you go. Like that. What what are you snapping to? Nothing useful. That so passers by can check their uh, their awestruck expressions as they uh, as they see the car come past. Yeah, no, that's it's all, it's all everything you're doing here is wrong. What about that though? That's that is actually quite cool. Um, yeah, do they need to be bigger? No, I don't think they do. Uh, I think you might want to monkey with the rotation a little bit, but uh, but that's that's about it. I hope you're having a good. I'm I'm really enjoying myself. Um, Right, that's give me give me a rotation I can work with, would you? No, give well give them back for starters. Give give. Right, what are we on here? Are we on sizing or movement? We're on movement. Okay, I need rotation. 
Give me, give me, uh, give me three D position. There you go. Three D positioning means that it no longer has to snap to anything. Uh, I can, I can have free floating parts, which will look a little bit odd. Uh, how's the, uh, how's the angle on that? Slightly wrong. Okay, grab the. Uh, is it the green that will do the job? Yeah. Just, just a bit like that. Okay, don't go wild with that because I think you've, you're at risk of that going. No, no, we've we've definitely, definitely, definitely got it. Um, right. Okay, body molding. I don't think we need any more than we've got. I think we've molded the nuts off this one already. Uh, let's give it. Uh, ooh, uh, well, it is. We need a premium premium looking aerial yeah which uh premium cars always stick the aerial and in the back of the roof like that looking premium you've made it it does look premium i know all right okay i just want to make it a bit longer to demonstrate the level of premiosity that we've got right, a bit like that and a bit like this yes sir pissed to have a gap in the middle of it that's not good no, why has it got a gap in the middle? Maybe that's just a rendering thing. I don't think that's just a rendering thing. I think you've pulled the aerial out of its uh, out of its out of its housing. Oh, that's, that's a disappointment because that was that was exactly right. Uh, do you want to delete it? Have another spin. I'll have another spin and see if we don't break it this time. All right. Like that. Yeah, that's broken. That one's no good. All right, okay. Well, we'll back up and choose a different one then. Uh, what about this? I think that's from the future. Yeah, exactly. Let's uh, let's put it on there. The whole car's from the future. It could also be that you were clipping into the uh, the spoiler there and it was having a moment of... It didn't really understand what you were trying to accomplish. I'll be honest with you. That's just wrong. It's just wrong. Just wrong, having a giant sink plunger on the top of your car. Right, yeah. Okay, I'm going to finish off a design of this, and then we'll be back. Claude. Now I hear you, all right? Okay, now I think we've got, uh, we've got a little bit of refinement to do on the, uh, on the structure of this here video series. And, uh, and I know where we're going with it. Um, so, number one, we chuck away the management game. We just, we're, we're just gonna fling that out the window. Uh, yeah, apologies for down tempo here. I've been working all day in the garden and I didn't bother putting it up this morning. So it's, I've, I've got civilian hair. No, yes. Oh, it's never going to catch on. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's that's number one. We chuck the management game out the window. Uh, number two, let's keep the car building to a... Right? Uh, and, then, uh, and then number three is uh, more nonsense. Okay? All right. I, I think we I think we delivered solid nonsense at the end today, and uh, and it tied into the nonsense we delivered last time, and that's that's all good. So uh, so that's what we're working towards. Uh, management game out a window, and uh, and then the car design system there, and uh, 
nonsense. You got it. It's coming. <laughs>